hello guys welcome back to my channel this is vikas here and today we will be continuing with the third series of uh, kubernetes deployment uh, using jenkins ci cd pipeline so as we have seen in the last uh, last uh, video like how to install and configure we have configured all the three server like jenkins ansible and we have also seen like how to install mini cube cluster uh, so that we will have a single node cluster running over there okay so once this is done this is our third video so here we will watch how we will have a docker file so how the this developer will uh, developer will uh, commit the code to the github and once the github will get the new commit okay then uh, jenkins will uh, come to know like okay new commit has came so it will start building the code right so this is a scenario of commit based job like once uh, whenever the uh, developer is committing a new code or making changes to the code okay git and pushing it to the github repository jenkins is already come is coming to know you uh, like new commit has came so this is how how this is happening how this jenkins will going to know like new commit has came this is due to this webhook configuration so we will have the url of this uh, jenkins conf jenkins along with that uh, we will have a secret we will generate a secret in the jenkins that we will put in the github i will show you in the lab session so no need to worry about the, that part so this is just an introduction okay so once so it so okay for the last sake i'm saying like once the developer will commit the docker file to the github okay the jenkins will start triggering the job automatically right okay so let's just go ahead and what are the prerequisites we need we need a github a repository right here okay we should have a jenkins server right okay and for the developer like he is committing the code to the github right so he is having some code editor so in my case i am using a visual code visual studio code vs code right so i will commit the code from there okay after committing the code the jenkins will pick, start uh, building the code means it will take all the code from github right okay so that we will check either the code has came to the git uh, this uh, jenkins uh, server or not that also we will verify okay so let's just go ahead and let's uh, go to our uh, uh, jenkins file sorry docker file and let's see what we have written there so as you can see i'm using a, a vs code editor here and i have wrote already a docker file here so you are doing a project so it means like you are not a beginner right so you can see here i am using a centos latest image for the container which on which we will build right so i am giving the maintainer uh, name like i have provided my email id here along with that some packages i need so that i can install these all things over there so along with that you can see i am using add here so it will do what it will execute it will download the package from the uh, remote repository <laughs> remote uh, location and it will uh, uh, also it will unzip this right along with that in which direct work directory we are switching here so this is my docker file right and i am exposing the port 80 here right so let me just go ahead and let me push this code to the github repository which we have created so let me show you like how, what how is my github repository so you can see here this is a simple github repository i have created this is a public repository so you, after this project you can make take help of that so if it is done so let's just start pushing this code just click on that come to the console section and here in this folder what you have to do first you have to in, in, initialize the git here so you can see git has been initialized here means a three a part has been created like the work directory and the staging staging area and the uh, our local repository has been created so if it is done let's just go ahead and let's just uh add the origin right so let me do it first like let's just stage the code okay so once this is done let's just see the status okay okay so you can see the file is not uh, now uh now staged right so once this is done let's just go ahead and let's just commit this to our local repository first okay. 
Okay. So once this is committed, now our task is to push this code to the, our remote repository, right? So for what what we have to do first is so we have to add the origin, right? So get remote. And here you have to provide the remote repository uh, URL, which is this the HTTP URL I'm using here. Just just go back and just provide this. Okay, so get uh, remote is has been added, right? So once this is done, let's just go ahead and let's just pull, uh, push this code to our GitHub repository. So git push uh, what this origin and what is the branch name for my case it is this is master right so just hit enter and let's just wait okay so it is showing that it has been pushed right let's just go ahead to our github account let's just refresh this page so that docker file should come okay so you can see here the docker file has came here right and once this is done what is our next next task let's just go back to the ppt okay so we have done this part so after that the jenkins should pick up the code and start building right so let's just go ahead and let's just go to our uh, jenkins dashboard you know right how to create this if you don't know how to do it we have discussed in our previous video right so let's just create a new item here okay so let's just give a name something like pipeline demo okay so i'm going for uh, this descriptive pipeline right so just click on pipeline we will write groovy script here okay so once this is done they just go down and this is the area where we will write all the codes right okay so it will start from node okay this is our node inside this we will men mention all the stages going forward we will use so this is the our first stage that will be for git checkout right it should take the code from git and in the jenkins server we can have the code right so once you have wrote and you don't know how to do the git checkout just click on this pipeline syntax and here you just search for git okay it is here itself it is it will ask you for some details like what is the repository you are you are using in your project so just go back and copy this okay i have copied this okay just go, go and paste it right okay so fine so uh, what is the branch we have go back and see okay we have just one branch that is master and this is a public repository okay right so that is fine if you are using a private repository repository then in that case you have to add a credential here by clicking on this jenkins and you will add your github username github password and the id and any sort of description that will be visible you here right the id and the description so once you will select that that is fine but in my case i am using a public repository so i don't need any credential here right so just click on this it has generated this just take it out and just paste here right okay so once this is done let's just click on apply save okay so once this is done you can see here it is there is an option of build now just click on that so it is start executing okay so it is succeed right so it is succeed you can go back again and okay so you can see here the git checkout has been successful so let's just go ahead and let's just go log into our uh, jenkins server and let's just see uh, okay so let me reactivate this okay so the code should has came here right let's see where leave jenkins workspace okay just hit enter you can see the docker file has came here right in your uh, the same name you have provided for the pipeline the inside the same pipeline name you have got your docker file right so this was all about the manual thing but uh, what will happen when we want like from the git only we will commit and as we have discussed right there should be a webhook that should be configured so once we will do we do not need to just click on we do not need to click here right manually it should build automatically correct so let's just go ahead and let's configure that also okay 
so what you have to do you just have to click on configure okay so you can see here right there is an option of this github hook trigger for git scm polling just click on that and just apply and save and let's just do the settings okay just go back to your project just click on settings here okay i have clicked on settings you, in the left side you can see there is a webhook option just click on that and here i don't have any webhook currently so let's just add a new fresh webhook okay so it is asking for your password just provide the password here once you have given your password it will here you have to provide the jenkins url as we have discussed in our earlier video like how to generate that so let's just go back to the pipeline here and see this is the jenkins url you just have to copy this just go back here and just paste here along with that you have to write github hyphen web hook slash and this slash is mandatory okay make sure that you are putting this here you will choose application session and along with that we have to provide the secret right these all things we have discussed in our previous video so okay so just go to configure option here once you came here you can see here you have you have option of api token right just click on that just click on generate and this is the token you have to provide there right so let me just go ahead and copy this so i have pasted just click on add webhook here okay so it, you can see it is trying to ping it okay just refresh this okay so you can see the connection has been made successfully the webhook has been configured okay so let's do one thing let's just go back to our this code okay so now okay now we should not manually do right okay so this is fine so let's just go ahead and let's open some more port like what i want uh, 22 port also this time i want to expose right so let's just go ahead let's just stage this okay once the staging is done let's just commit hyphen name new port okay just hit enter so once this is done let's just go ahead and let's just push to our master get push this is the origin and what is the branch name this is the branch name okay So once this is pushing let's just go back to our uh, this jenkins dashboard so that we can see okay so you can see here pending in a quiet period expired in 2.3 seconds so see this has been done in a some millisecond even right okay so you can see you can go back to the git account right go to the project here and just click on this file new port expo expose the comment we have given here that is here right okay so this was all all out for today so we have finished a commit based job in the next session we will see like how we can configure ansible okay so that jenkins will uh share his load to the ansible server ansible will get the docker file and ansible will start building the docker image and how it will push to the docker hub we will see that all things so thanks for watching please do like and consider subscribing if you really want to get uh, more videos like this that keeps me motivated and let me do these all things for you thank you guys